Hi guys, welcome to Classic TV Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Today's video. What happened to Rob and Laura from the Dick Van Dyke show after it ended? I'm not talking about Mary Tyler Moore and Dick Van Dyke. I'm talking about Rob and Laura. What happened to them? You're about to find out. Uh, when a TV show ends, there's usually lots of questions left unanswered. Did Sam and Diane make the right decision? Will Hawkeye recover from the tragedies of war? Did the Sopranos actually end like that, or did McCable just cut out? Sure, it's fun to make up our own answers and wonder about lives we didn't see. It's also much more satisfying when the show's creators fill in the blanks. At the conclusion of the Dick Van Dyke show, Rob Petrie has just finished writing a book untitled A Series of Terribly Important Events in the Fairly Unimportant Life of Robert S. Petrie. His wife, Laura, loves it. The publisher he sent it to, on the other hand, wasn't as kind. The rejection doesn't last too long, though, as Rob's boss, Alan Brady, buys a transcript rights and turns the book about Rob's life into a new television series. Even though the finale mostly plays out in flashbacks, the story ends in an enjoyable enough way. Watched Rob struggle for five years, and now he's getting a moment in the sun. Next chapter of the Dick Van Dyke show saw the show's cast and creator growing larger than the characters they brought into life. Mary Tyler Moore went on to anchor her own series, The Mary Tyler Moore Show, uh, a show which is described by the New York Times, helped define a new vision of American womanhood. She was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Actress after her performance in Ordinary People. Dick Van Dyke starred in Rolled uh, Doll Pen Chitty Chitty Bang Bang before returning to TV with the new Dick Van Dyke Show. Series creator Carl Reiner, too, saw greater demand for his work writing and directing a series of successful movies and building a strong collaborative uh, relationship with Steve Martin. Wouldn't it have been pleasing to follow Rob and Laura Petrie's lives the same way fans were able to keep up with these actors? Were they as successful as the real-life counterparts? Did their careers reach the same heights? What about Sally? Luckily, the audience was retreated to the some more uh, time with the Petries in 2004's The Dick Van Dyke Show Revisited. Best part? It wasn't a look back with the actors, and it wasn't the cast sitting on stage reminiscing. It was more story. Viewers got to revisit the characters we love, stepping into Petrie home for a peek at what happened in the meantime. It's been 40 years, and Rob is definitely not commuting back and forth from New Rochelle anymore. Now he and Laura live permanently in Manhattan, where he runs a ballet, where she runs a ballet studio in their apartment. Laura teaches dance students while in an example of art imitating life, Rob tinkers away at his computer. Laura's one wish is to teach a studio on Broadway. Supporting characters join the mix when old boss Alan Brady phones Rob and former co-worker Sally. Brady, who's not even sick, has asked to hire Rob and Sally to write his eulogy. It's an offer Rob can't refuse, given how much money Brady is offering. And not only does the story give Rob an excuse to write more jokes, but it also gives the show an excuse to check back in with Rosemarie's Sally. Dick Van Dyke's brother Jerry is back too as Stacy. The crew looks back on the characters who can't be there due to the passing of both Maury Amsterdam and Richard Deacon. Just how spry the cast was 40 years on definitely surprising audiences. Dick Van Dyke still had some Pratt Falls left in the tank, and Mary Tyler Moore looked better than ever. He created a wonderful life for Laura, Mary Tyler Moore said of writer Carl Reiner in an interview with the new affiliated network to Zap It. Uh, zapped to it in 2004. She teaches youngsters in a small studio in the apartment with Rob, and it's something she does with great devotion. I was excited about just the concept. Then I saw the script, and I became even more excited. The doing of it was the most fun any of us had had in years. I can't help but feel unless there's a covey of gremlins in the editing room determined to ruin it, this would be the best reunion show of all time. There you go. I'll be honest with you, I had no idea they could do the reunion show. Going to look it up, though. And now you know what happened to Rob and Laura. Well, and Sally. Uh, that's all I have for you. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please don't forget about classic rock and country music facts and trivia. Head on over there. Please subscribe. Have a great day. God bless. Be praying for you.